my name is tanuja qa engineer of spectic so what we will see today what is performance testing what are the main factors of performance testing and why performance testing and performance testing using jmeter so what is performance testing performance testing is one of the most important phase of any product launch as it verifies and validates the overall performance of any uh, website or application the main agenda behind conducting performance testing on any product is to make sure that product performance is as expected before it get launched into the market so uh, what is performance testing it is a process of testing a software application under a specific workload so what are the three main factors of performance testing uh, speed scalability and stability speed uh, it identify whether the response of the application is fast or not the uh, scalability where the maximum user load is determined stability of the application is checked under the various different uh, workloads so uh, why we need performance testing uh, the only concern of any software is not only the features and functionality the response time reliability scalability are also the important factor of any website so the goal of the performance testing is not to find the bugs but to eliminate the performance glitches the performance testing is performed to help you or your client uh, with the information about the application speed or uh, the application is reliable when there is a maximum user limit so if there is no performance testing the uh, soft, uh, the software might suffer from the issues such as running slow while uh, several user use the website simultaneously uh, so let's start with the demo uh, performance testing using jmeter so uh, apache jmeter is the open source tool and it is the most best and most used testing tool for the performance testing uh, steps to install jmeter uh, so first of all install java in your system uh, you can uh, see the uh, installation step from its uh, web, uh, official website and after uh, this download jmeter in your system and simply install in your system okay so to launch the jmeter open jmeter folder under this bin folder you can see the jmeter.bat file just click on it it will take some time Okay. Now you can see the screen. This uh, home window is divided into two sections. On the left side, all the test elements are added, and all the uh, uh, left side, all the configuration of this element will be added. So, uh, test plan. Uh, you can see this test plan here. You can see all is in a configuration. So, test plan is the place or the container where all the element we will using to perform the test. so it stored all the request listener and other information so let's remove it now the first step is to add the thread okay okay so the thread group refers to the user and you can see the several option like action to be taken after the sample error uh, number of thread uh, which represent the number of user the ramp up period in second that states the gap between the user heads and the loop count uh, how many time you want to run uh, the test so suppose let's take it five one now to add the request go to the sampler just add http request here you can see uh, the server name and the ip 
with any website here this i'm taking with respect the doctor you don't need to add the http and https it will add under this protocol automatically here you can add the forward slash and to add the now to add the listener you can choose the view result in tables a listener are used to provide the output of the load test so here you can see lots of option uh, for now we choosing this one the save the test click on the screen button start the test so let's analyze the result so here you can see the sample number 1 2 3 4 which are the thread and the user the user 1 2 3 and the uh, the second term is uh, start time the execution of this sample for first for first user this is the execution time then there is a thread name which is basically a thread group name which we gave there and this 1115 is first iteration with the first user then the first iteration with the fifth user and so on this is the request then this uh, it is the sample time this how much this sample label took uh, time in terms in terms of uh, milliseconds uh, and this is status like it is passed or not then this is this number of bytes we have sent and this number of bytes we receive the then the last there is two option latency and the connect time which is the important ones uh, latency is basically our time request from the user and the response time the response in terms of request travel from the server to the client it does not uh, include the server processing time it's only uh, include the request and response time only So suppose uh, you see this three thirty nine one ninety five three ninety eight two zero one and two eighty. So the best one is this one ninety six. The latency should be lower, lower the better. Okay. Uh, the first user take much time than the second, than the fifth user. Then there is a connection time. That is how much time your application got connected to the server in millisecond, millisecond. so uh, basically the higher connection or uh, latency means uh, there is a problem in terms of the performance of uh, any website so right now the performance is fine here for some user like for the first user it take much time the other one is fine uh, for the third user also so and here also you can see the average time of this sample and the deviation between them so what uh, jmeter does it it creates a request and send it to the server once it receive the server request it collects them and visualize those detail in charts graph and other formats so it's all thank you do you have any questions hi guys thank you for watching I had an amazing time learning all the new things here at Spec Beast Tech X, and if you did too, do let us know in the comments below. Keep following Spec Beast for the latest trends in technology. See you in the next one.